there's different colors, right, you can work with. So this is a bit of a, a, a middle, middle ground. So the color temperature, if I go to a blue, it'll actually pull out my veins a bit more. So you actually can actually see how some of the color changes. If I go to a red, it's more for different tissue cues for viability of the arterial yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I can actually use different temperatures of the light and different brightnesses. And the wider lights are designed for different types of surgery. It's, it's amazing. It's really cool. Um, there's also auto shadow and things like that. So if my head's in the way, the little lights are kind of smart and they'll start figuring out what I'm blocking around me. The green gives a contrast between the reds and the blues because green is an unnatural color, right? We don't have that green light. So they see how the reds pop up. Very interesting. The contrast is like super vibrant. So you and I don't have to be in the dark when we do surgery. We can actually have the, the color textures on the screens. Is that neat? So that's, and the other light we do is blue. Greens and blues are also for patients and for surgeons, it calms them down. Hello, Mama. <laughs> she was running around um, in the woods behind her house, and she jumped onto what they think she thought was solid ground, but it was covered in snow. It was a bunch of just branches and broken trees from the ice storm. And when she pulled her leg out, it degloved the whole thing. So uh, the wound that we have here was an injury that happened approximately five days ago and it's a laceration that happened around the leg and it caused an injury called a degloving. Watch the suture, I don't want to look at the The degloving uh, is a term that's used that describes a type of injury where the skin is removed from the foot, leg, extremity in the same manner a person would take off a glove. So it's just a very kind of slang term that describes skin being removed. Um, the degloving of this type of nature this is below that laceration and it goes from the knee down to the ankle. So right now, uh, after the injury happened, the uh, previous veterinarian tried to um, do a repair to try to keep the area alive and brought the skin up and uh, adhered it with some suture. However, the uh, skin began to die more and an infection took hold. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna explore this wound, try to figure out what's viable, what's not viable, cut out anything that's dead, and um, try to salvage the remaining skin that's there that's infected to try to get it to, to be vital. And um, hopefully this dog will be able to heal with uh, um, long-term wound management. And that's our goal. We removed the SR on this case and right now we have a bit of a large open wound defect that we're going to try to have let heal by second intention. Second intention basically means we need the leg to figure out what it wants to heal and how it wants to heal it. Um, we don't have a very good amount of skin to work with so it actually has to heal in with scar tissue and we're going to work on doing that over the next couple weeks with bandages and a few other things. Right now the goal of today was to focus on keeping the healthy tissue there and removing the bad tissue. So there's a fair amount of dead tissue that had to be removed and 
if we try to pull all this skin together right now, it's going to rip apart. So we don't want to have that happen. So we're going to actually have a bandage that's going to go over this. And that should hopefully be good.